before the video starts this video is not a video for rants or this gives my own opinion and thoughts about the entirety of the controversy and as well as the end of it all which is called the final curtain and the reason why that the name the final curtain is this is the end of the videos that i made from the past which myself from earlier is going to talk about and not only that this video is no hatred whatsoever entirely this is the stuff that i always wanted to say ever since from the very beginning well you guys thought that the is time to close my break was the last video apparently it's not this video will be the last video to the four part of all the videos that i made so far and there's 25% there's 25% of of the truth that I was not fully aware of but this is pretty much a reflection if that makes more sense so in this video i have six categories that i'm going to go off and base off of and hopefully that makes more sense the questions may appear or the titles will be appeared on the screen and yeah so for those of you who haven't watched my channel what is my own controversy my controversy was a long 10 year gap between 2013 to 2023 and it was the most hellhole time period I ever experienced there's a lot of bad issues that I made there was a lot of bad influence within this whole entire forgotten war as a nickname and it was never ever ever good except for the good memories that I have within those 10 years and with that it makes it so sad to see me getting the, des the, the deserve I can't even speak it's so sad for me to see myself going through this pain and deserve bad stuff i deserve a lot of shit that i didn't even deserve of and i get put up up until the last day of the 10-year gap in 2023 and that's where the i am done hiding the truth comes in the day before the last day and then the one month since the truth video comes in and then it is time to close my break you get the point The recent stuff that I have been dealt with was the power outage that happened on June 7th. And as you can see over the to the right is a bunch of diapers over there. There's reasons why it's there. It is because due to my mom's leg from here cut off from the vascular doctors that messed up her foot from the ankle of the back of it since two years ago. Me my second older brother Richard and my dad is still helping her trying our best to kind of survive in this condition ba based off like the walls you see right here and everything and how my room is and as as I forgot from the final episode of Island Camp I managed to change my room uh, uh, a lot and this is now where I, I sleep this is where all my stuff will be and even where the diapers will be whenever she needs diapers because she uses the commodum inside of her own room and that's pretty much it from there now for this one is going to be very quick it's self-explanatory for the first four people that I'm going to mention especially two people in depth wise but quick if that makes more sense because I want to make this video quick as possible so I'm calling out the first four splash rock clay Rio and bat if you wanted to know about those four including Jamie which is uh, one of the worst type of people I ever met based on what they do go ahead and check out the uh, the third part of this with these four they are 
basically like the Jokers, the last laughing Jokers of the stocking here. Rock Clay acts like a bitch. He literally acts like a baby whining. Then you got Splash, who's like the literal Joker. And then you got Rio and Bat as the Raider Assassins within Discord. If you guys don't know, I used to have a, a full-on first Discord server, but this is right before my channel actually really started t two years prior, basically. And then after that, I had a second private server, and then you got the one that you're seeing within the links. That would change soon once I do that. Um, these last two people I'm going to mention, which I need to get them out of the way. Even though I mentioned him once somehow, but I will mention him the first time in this video about this, the reflection. And this will be the last. Lucian, to me, went to a rogue type character from... He reminds me of one of the characters from Stranger Things. Went from season one type of character to season four type of character. And the way he acts now is very crazy to me. And and he called me out because of the video that I made, which I did mention within the first part, where I, act, I actually did call out my first and real for reals this time for those who know me for the longest time, my very first girlfriend. And she's no longer my girlfriend. So soon I'm going to get to her name. But he called me out with that video. And at that time, I was like, not knowing exactly what I was trying to say. And knowing, not knowing what's going on. And he told me this, like putting actual somebody's name, that doesn't matter if it's last name or first name, out within video. Dude, I'm going to tell you something right now. Nobody from the government is going to go after me for this. It makes no literal sense. They can't do shit about YouTube. They can't do, sh they can't do shit within every so social. I'm going to stop the video for a second. I have proof for some odd reason. Even though that Lucian blocked me for all socials, I don't understand why he's still subscribed to my YouTube channel as a whole from the YouTube studios that I looked at. Where you see your subscribers who is subscribing to your channel and it, it's bizarre to me i don't know why and then you got my former girlfriend which is riley i'm gonna mention her i have mentioned her within that video but ever since i took it down and realized like nah and nah it's not gonna cut it but with her she is the most most brutal type looking character <laughs> looking type of person that I never ever don't want to see of her again one she lies two she vapes and she's the type of character who doesn't or she's the type of person who doesn't literally give a fuck about everything remember I said about the trustworthy friendship and history history does matter in this case and she thinks that history does not matter it does bitch and then you got um, this next part right now that's going to be mentioned. Now, why is Isla Camp in this video being talked about? I did talk about, about the finale after, you know, due to the, the power outage. This video is also due to the power outage too. But the reason why Isla Camp is in this is because it played a prominent role to be as the portrayer to the controversy. And the most relatable five characters, the most out of them is basically Tom. And I did mention him within the finale to a, a person who watched uh, the entire show. No, no hate to them, to be very fair. That's their own opinion. But as stated, as facts-wise, Tom is the most relatable character and he has the potential to win. And then you got R Reggie, Jose, and Roy... And then James, for this matter. Those three, besides James, those three are relatable characters that relates to me and some people that are part that is part of my life that made history, friendship, and trustworthy to each other. And then you got James, who is 
a type of character that is mixed of the people I mentioned earlier. Splash, Rockley, Lucian, Rio, Bat, and Riley. All, to, all six together, if that makes more sense. To make this character exist and as a secondary villain. As for Diana, if you guys don't know, she's basically a first villain, but she made a oopsie, if that makes more sense. And then I forgot to wear it. And this right here is going to be part of this category. Why is this necklace right here that I made so representable? The reason why I made this necklace, it represents all the stuff that I've been through that was, that was terrible up until this point. And then this bull right here was given to me by... Uh, Carly Seal, one of the good old friends of all time, of a good al uh, of a good ally. And I would never ever take this off. Oh, the only time I'll take it off is right now, or you know what I mean. But that's where it lies in the, under my desk right here. But yeah, all of this to account going forward is where things start to change. How would the entire channel and myself get affected by this video and how everybody's getting affected by this as well? Not really as much, but going forward, F once we get to episode 9 of Gaming Revelations, I will be starting doing more independent gaming videos and in general too. Because you guys see that I've worked so hard on Island Camp to get it out as best as I can. And I tried my best, all right? And then you got uh, other videos that I made so far that it was made to be as independent too. But that doesn't mean the entire channel would stay as well. It will stay as independent, but for the videos, it won't be as it won't stay as independent until things can change. Who knows? And then you got the effect in, of this entire thing. What I said earlier about this whole entire condition of the, my house where I live at, where I live at basically, and why is that important? It is because I want to basically try to get myself and my and portion of my family out of here as best as we can and trying to get this all together too. And not only that, it makes it such a, a great opportunity to get this all done and think and thank god I'm, I'm only down to one more grade of school but yeah does this video affect me at all not really but this will affect me after it's made but would this affect the entirety of me not going away from my channel no from there on out after this video that is it no more mentions of my controversy no more mentioning about the people that i mentioned and the stuff that has happened from before. I've also forgot to mention about Riley. She she is now getting compared to since she now vapes. She's now compared to my third older brother's Chris's um ex-girlfriend. Her name is Virginia and she acts the exact same way as what Riley is right now. And this is the reasons why I will never ever date her her ass ever again. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in Gaming Revelations. Stay fresh, as always. And remember this, history does matter, and remember, we do not want this controversy to be doomed to repeat itself.